Now in these examples, um, we've got the distributive property, but then we have, like in this one, we have a plus four afterwards, and over here we have a plus two afterwards. So um, we'll do these two examples. So please write this down, negative two times t minus three, then plus four equals nine. Okay, a plus four is not inside the parentheses. So it's negative two parentheses, t minus three parentheses, plus four equals nine, okay? So, what we need to do first, we've got to apply the distributive property first. So always start with the distributive property, right? Distributive property first, then solve. Okay, distributive property, then solve. Right? So we basically simplify both sides and then we solve it, right? So when you multiply, you've got to multiply with a negative two. Negative two, right? So what's negative two times t? That's negative two t, right? What's negative two times negative three? Negative two times negative three? That's a negative times a negative, which is positive six, right? and then write out the rest of the equation. So you apply the distributive property and then you write out the rest of the equation, okay? So I hope you're okay with this part. We've multiplied in with a negative two to get that and now we go write out the whole thing. Got that? So you've got to apply the distributive property, add like terms, and then solve, okay? So basically, the steps for all of these equations are going to be one, distributive property. And you can write this out if you want. Two, add like terms. As much as possible on both sides, right? And three is solve, okay? Solve by adding and subtracting to both sides and dividing and all that. So we've applied the distributive property. Now we're going to add like terms. And the like terms that we need to add are the six and the four. Okay, see that? I've got to add the six and the four. So those are the like terms. So add them together, what do you get? Right? So you should have negative two t plus 10 equals nine. Now that there are no more like terms to add on either side of the equation, we can now solve it. Okay, so we apply the distributive property. We add like terms here. In this case, it's just six and four. No big deal, right? That makes 10. Now we solve the equation. What I mean by solve is when you've got to, when you got to, you know, subtract from both sides and all that. So go ahead and solve the equation. Press pause and do this by yourself. Okay, I hope you've done it yourself. I'm going to do it now. We've got to subtract 10 from both sides. Did you get that? What will that give you on both sides? 10 minus 10 is 0, and negative 2t on the left and on the right. Positive 9 and negative 10 makes negative 1. Okay. Negative 2, so this is negative 2 times t. So how do we solve it? What do we get? Can you solve it from here? You gotta divide by negative two on both sides. And so you get negative over negative, positive, two over two, one, positive one t, right? Or t equals, this is negative over negative. So what is the answer? Negative one divided by negative two. And negative over negative makes positive, so positive one half, t equals one half, right? So write this one down and then solve it yourself. It's negative parenthesis t minus five parenthesis plus two equals negative seven, okay? Please write it down, press pause and do the whole thing yourself. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm gonna go over it now. So instead of like having a negative two outside the parentheses, here we just have a negative sign, just a negative, that's it, right? So what we need to do is we need to multiply, put a one here and think about this. I'm gonna multiply in by a negative one, okay? A negative one 
times positive t gives what? Negative t. What's negative 1 times negative 5? Negative 1 times negative 5? Negative times negative, positive 5. Okay. So hopefully you got negative t plus 5. Now just write out the rest of the equation and we'll solve it. Okay. So we just write out the rest, plus 2 equals negative 7, and then we we solve it. Now we've got to add like terms. So we've applied the distributive property. Now we're going to add like terms, okay, and then we solve, okay. So the like terms are a 5 and a 2. Look at them there, 5 and a 2, okay. We've applied the distributive property, now we add like terms on both sides until both sides are simplified as much as you can by adding like terms so 5 and 7 make 5 and 2 make 7 and then write out the equation negative t plus 7 equals negative 7 now can you press pause and solve it from here if you haven't done so yet okay so we've got to get t by itself which means we need to subtract 7 from both sides 7 minus 7 is 0, and we're at left with negative t equals, what's negative 7 minus 7? I'm in debt by $7, I subtract $7, how far are you in debt now? 7 bad guys and 7 more bad guys make so many bad guys. See, this is negative 14, not 0, negative 14, okay? Now we've got to get t by itself because it's no use just having a negative t. We want to know what positive t is. Okay? You've got to figure out positive t, not just negative t. Right? So negative t is the same thing as negative 1t. Does that make sense? So it's like having t multiplied by a negative 1. So to undo that, what do we do? We've got to divide by negative 1 on both sides, which ends up giving us negative 14 over negative 1. That's a negative over negative, positive, and 14 over 1 is 14, right? So t equals 14, right? And if we ever want to check one of these, that's easy. We just take the 14 and plug it into the equation. Um, negative and then plug the 14 there so that was the equation we found the t was 14 we're gonna plug the 14 in for t in the original equation see that then we're gonna solve now inside this parenthesis you have 14 minus 5 14 minus 5 they are like terms they're numbers so what is 14 minus 5 see that's 9 isn't it right and you've got a negative outside there and you can add these guys together. Negative 9 plus 2, what does that give you? Negative 9 plus 2, negative 7. And so you get negative 7 on both sides, draw a smiley face, and the answer is indeed 14. Right?